I already know all things sports and entertainment. So, Bronny James debuted the other day against the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, him and LeBron. And I seen, and I'm sure Nike did this. They flew out Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey Sr. Bronny got in the, in the game three, three, he had one rebound, three minutes, no points, no assist. And um, let me say this before I go in. Salute to LeBron. I understand it's his dream. Ain't nothing wrong with him accomplishing his dream. But I mean, you know, Bronny, man, his game is trash, man. I'm sorry. Right now, he's trash. His in, in the NBA. I ain't talking about as a person. I ain't for y'all start, you know, crying and whining. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about his game in the NBA is trash. But now I'm hearing reports that he might be going to the G League. Uh, I forget the ESPN uh, reporter, but I think it's Shams. But he's supposed to be going to the G League here soon, and then he'll be bouncing back and forth. I do think that the G League would be good for him to get reps in. Um, I do think that Bronny wanted to go. I don't have no problem with this if he played the entire season in the G League. But, you know, the NBA, it's kind of like WWE. It's, it's serious, but it's still entertainment. So, of course, they want to make that big that big moment. But it was very manufactured because Bronny is just clearly not ready yet. He's not an NBA player. And I seen um, uh, Charles Barkley talk about it the other day on the interview. Of the before tip off, and he talked about it briefly. A couple other people talked about it. A lot of people are kind of scared, <laughs> scared to really say how they feel. Devin Booker and several other people, but matter of fact, didn't didn't uh, Jalen Brown? They caught him on camera uh, talking to his girl. I forget her name, but you know, salute to her. She fine. Um, saying I don't think Bronny's a pro. And I, look, look, don't be scared of the LeBron stands. Even though I'm a LeBron fan. Don't be scared of LeBron stands, man. The kid ain't ready, and this game is trash. And in the NBA, in the NBA, it's trash right now. Maybe it'll get better. Who knows? I didn't play in the NBA. You know what I mean? But me seeing my cousin play in the NBA for several years and, and other people that I know that's made it to the NBA, Bronny seems like a fish out of water. And my cousin played four years. Actually, four, two years at UNLV. Two years in JUCO, two years at UNLV. So I don't understand why there was such a rush to get Bronny because look LeBron if you if this was supposed to be for uh, for Le for Bronny you should have took your time I mean y'all you, don't play any defense you you know you take your time up and down the court so you could have played another two three more years but because there's this rush to rush to get him in before you get out the door Bronny was prematurely thrown into the into the fire you know so I don't know but <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny that Ken Griffey, they flew all the way from Florida to California just for Bronny to score zero points. And then they had that picture. You know, Nike going to end up probably making a commercial about that and, you know, all of that. But like I said, hey, Bronny, I'm sure I'm sure he's a respectable young man. But let's just be honest. If this has been any y'all, y'all already. I got people. I got people literally when they try to argue with me about it. They try to argue about um Alex R. Him being the number two overall pick. OK, well. If he's trash, then Bronny should get the same level because you don't see Alex R doing all, all these commercials and having all these endorsements. You seen the whole FaZe Clan, they came out with Bron to come support Bronny, who scored no points. So, fair. Okay, fine. If, if you have a problem, if Alex R is a scrub right now, then Bronny James' gameplay is scrubbish. You know, so I, I don't care. I don't care about the media and all of that because I'm, I, I refuse to make content. And I can't be my unauthentic self. And especially even for y'all, man. Look, just because you critique people doesn't mean that you don't like them. You know what I mean? These athletes. And like I said, even with Shador, I know I previously said this as well. And Travis Hunter and Dion. When you praise them and body sunglasses and all of that, it's all cool. But the minute you critique their gameplay, now they got a problem with you. And it's just sad, man. People, we got to man up. These are... These are multi-millionaire men crying because people like us say that that their game currently is trash. You know what I mean? If Bronny go out there and he stopped drawing, and he averaged, you know, uh, 23 points a game and all of that, then, hey, any, hell, even if he averaged 15 a game, would nobody say nothing about him. You know what I mean? So, but you're not going to sit here and tell me, oh, you know, he's a developmental player and all that, but, but, but you wouldn't give nobody else that credit. Again, when Anthony Bennett, Anthony Bennett, before damn near the end of the summer league, People was calling him a bust, and he didn't even realize why he was the number one overall pick. So, if y'all gonna hold him to that standard, then you need to hold up Bronny. Don't don't give Bronny all these damn endorsements and everything else you can think of. But on the same time, man, he's the number one fifty fifth overall pick, bro. Man, you tripping? No, no, I don't care what pick you are. You got all these endorsements, and and uh, and per your dad, uh, who's one of the arguably 
top five greatest players of all time. If it, you know, you got him out there saying he better than half the people on league pass. Okay, well, I expect Brian to come out there and be a borderline all star. You know, so oh, and another thing too, I seen Le uh, LeBron talk about everybody expected him to fail in his first game in the NBA, but his family or the first year. Man, stop, dude. People, the millennials, man, we was rooting for you. Nike, Phil, your boss, Phil Knight, was rooting for you. When Ken Griffey Jr. at your first game, he was rooting for you. So stop, stop with all of that, man. Yeah, you had people out there that that if you didn't live up to Michael Jordan like a Skip Bayless, but come on, man, people were completely rooting for you. And when I was in high school, even though you two years older than me, we was buying your gear. So I know, nah, man. Mm -mm. Now people critiqued you because you you froze in the playoffs when you played for the Miami Heat. But prior to that, man, no, I ain't trying to hear all that, man. You know, but that's that. That's that, oh, you get all this praise, but when you start getting critiqued, now, you know, now people want you to fail, so. But yeah, I just want to get my quick thoughts about all of that, man. You know, and again, man, I apologize to my subscribers, we over 800. I was moving, and if, if any of y'all hadn't moved, I know how hectic that is, and then I lost my damn cord, so I couldn't make the type of videos I wanted to make. And then I, I use a, a Final Cut Pro to make my videos, so, you know, I, don't, I hate using iMovie, so I try to do it early with my phone with a little dirt, but, you know, but yeah, but we back to making daily videos. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. You know, hit the like button, man, share the video if y'all feeling it, man. LDBC, man, uh, tell me what y'all think.